Kishore, would you like to go with the insights, like some of them from what we are discussing? I think we, when we, we started understanding the new age consumers who are digital first consumers, yep. and we looked at uh, their color of pursuit, the new lifestyles, and we found something very interesting. We found a group of a uh, lot of women coming together and uh, getting into, uh, especially in restaurants, you can see them, bunch of them together. Yep. Not again, the evening time, not in morning time you used to see them. I think it's happening because of a uh, lot of free time and uh, and people want to go out and experience a lot of new things. Mm. And uh, I think and getting that freedom to go out. Then there is a chemical know-it-all like we were mentioning, his yeah. your child yeah. wants to read everything behind. So there are a lot of consumers now who wants to live, yeah, yeah. Uh, read everything, mm. what's yeah. written on the back of the pack and mm. they are very conscious about the ingredients getting used. Another community we are looking at is gated communities. People who live in mm. the gated apartments. They can and Yeah. And he must be the B Belandur community. I don't know. No, no, no he lives here. Okay, okay. Yeah. <laughs> so this is another community. <laughs> yeah. So I think the community and I think they have a lot of common interests. They play mm. a lot together. Mm. Yeah, the we try and play a lot together mm. too. And another uh, huge, uh, another lifestyle which is X-free life. I don't want gluten. Mm. I don't want this. I want this. Well, I think there are so many no's in the preferences of... Uh, so, in a way, news. are you saying India is now so broad and diversified that instead of saying we will build for even India A, which is 120 million people, you need to break it down to micro niches and build specifically for them? Like I need you, to build... You a can build a brand around that and then it can expand to... Because ultimately you have to enter a category. Is that how a brand should be built? Zero to one, identifying a micro niche, not going too broad? You can't go broad. I think very so. difficult to fully build. agree. The shark very in a pond very difficult to build. You have to be niche. You have to become the big fish in a pond first. Yes. Yeah. And yes. then enter in somewhere. Uh, like, uh, like how Mama Earth entered in. Mm. And now they have expanded into many, many... Categories. Would that also mean for categories which are really large with ITC and HUL and Marico and all these companies, there's no point wasting time to try and compete with them? I don't I think, think so. they, are, they, are, they, they know that they have a very strong balance sheet and ultimately every brand which is getting built, which will be successful, will be, will be bought over by them. Because they will take it to that next 200 to 1000. Yeah, yeah, for sure. So, so no point building there. Uh, no, they have the distribution, they have the reach. Yeah, they I can think directly touch, uh, competing with one of their products without some differentiation, I think there's no point. They don't allow you. Reach they don't allow you. In our earlier avatar, we had a brand called Tasty Treat, which mm. was into biscuits. And uh, we garnered quite a substantial market share. In mm. Bourbon, we captured 3%. Uh, in uh, Wafer Biscuit, we captured 25%. But uh, the amount of cases, they, uh, they came after us uh, yeah. on everything. By cases, what do you mean? Your brand is identical, similar. They'll find something or the other. Right. They will not let you survive. They they believe that uh, that shelf space and right. the mind space belongs right. to them, right. and it belongs to nobody. Right. And they will not let anybody come into that. Yeah. And when they buy you, do they buy you at a premium? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, I think all Huge. the recent D2C purchases have been at a premium. Huge. But I think I, the I odds think of succeeding that are so low that you should not attempt it. Yeah, I th that's what I was going to say. I think. Look, I think I it's mean, not bad. Yeah. And. Uh, because they, they they can't do that innovation, they can't build it. And secondly, you have to start somewhere in a niche. Right. Not that Catchwell has not attempted. They have, they went in, they attempted something like a good life, so long name. I think it, it didn't work. Yeah, yeah. So I think the niche thing is because, it, see, can you compete? So I think the only counter to that is my sense. And I think even that is changing quite rapidly. If you asked me three, four years ago, I would say most of the big players were not digitally very good. Mm. So you could actually still create some scale online and then figure out a way to see if that was enough. Mm. I don't think that's true anymore. Mm. I think all of them are now quite good digitally. And so I would certainly not go head-to-head -head competition, I mean, mm. especially if you're starting. Right, right. Would you like to go with another insight? Kishore is the OG. He can give us hundreds right. yeah. in a line. No, there is a, I, I would say sure. somebody, <laughs> has to st somebody has to start a brand around something. I would rather do it for gamers and gamblers. There's gamers not a single, single brand for them and they are huge in numbers. Right. What like do you mean gaming like company? People who game a lot. Okay. And so people who went for into them, keyboards for them. Whatever. Right. No, no, no. Maybe some brand around them. Brand around them as well. Mm. Yeah, yeah. You will be subconsciously talking to them in a particular way and they will relate to you. Midnight scrollers. 
That's a huge community again. Like Nootropics, stuff like that. Which Not that product. I think they are a, a so group of people he's who have a common. Community. They are a community by themselves. They are a community, and can you build a product for the community? So you are yeah. not talking about utilitarian it's stuff for them. You are talking about positioning. Positioning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Positioning. Interesting. Interesting. I think that's, it's interesting. that's the way of fitting a micro niche. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a micro niche. Right. Right. Another insight. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> this is good. No, I, I think, like yeah. uh, like we want. Uh, my daughter wanted to get into uh, something around children. Hmm. So we thought of. Uh, of Getting into through a furniture brand, building a not a furniture brand, but getting into furniture as a category. Yeah. But then we thought of a she thought of a name mm. that uh, how can we design it around uh, the the child mm. and how uh, you can work around the well-being of the child mm. and the imagination of the child and child's uh, growth. Mm. So we called the brand Smartsters. Mm. Mm. We entered through mm. a category which is very niche mm. study, yep. study tables. India has two and a half crore babies produced, and even twelve percent of that is thirty yeah. lakhs yeah. in the community which we want to make them spend money on. Right. Then into beds, mm. uh, we can uh, getting into toys. Mm. The it's it's, it's smart it's around childhood. But the, like, if I slept them. on a smartster's bed from when I was five to fifteen, when I'm twenty two and making a shopping decision, will I remember smartster? You, you, no, no. You, Yeah, you will not. You but will you not. are not. But we are catering to that audience only. Yeah, to see, there's enough well. of a replacement market. I think. Yeah. I think children's market. I mean, we have. There's. It's for some reason there are not many large brands. And there's I think not a very, single brand. Yeah, and so I think there's a huge opportunity in children's clothes, children's accessories. So this them, right? brand now can be extended into clothing also, but very limited line of clothing which talks educational. Mm-hmm. Uh, yep. Messages. Hi, I'm Nikhil Kamath. I'd love to know what you thought of the episode. Uh, comment, like, and subscribe. And thank you for watching.